Hey everyone, welcome to WPF Tutorials. In this part we are going to talk about the rich text box. Uh, in last part I think I said that was it for flow documents but uh, I realized we skipped or I haven't covered the rich text box. So in this part we are going to cover the rich text box as part of as last wrapper for flow documents. So, so far we covered three of the wrappers, which one, one of those was uh, Flow Document Scroll Viewer, Flow Document Page Viewer, and Flow Document Reader, which kind of encapsulates uh, all three of them. Okay, the biggest difference between these wrappers and the rich text box is that these wrappers are read-only, whereas the rich text box is read and write. So to start things off, I'm going to change this flow document reader to a rich text box. And let's give it a name. Let's call this rich. I'll probably end up using this name later on. Rich TBX for rich text box. Okay, you'll notice our content, the way it flows changed okay uh, let's run this and see how it looks okay you'll notice we lost our controls down below here our search we lost everything pretty much but we still have our document and that's hard coded so we lost the scroll as well but if you place your cursor somewhere in the document you'll still able to you'll be able to use the arrow keys on your keyboard and scroll down and up the document Okay, so uh, again, this is a rich text box. You can edit any part of it. Or you can add more stuff, such as this is a uh, rich text box. But this just stays in the memory. It doesn't go anywhere until it's saved to a file or something like that. Okay. All right, so uh, I'm going to go ahead and copy a little more stuff that's going to give us a little more information about the rich text box and some of the features. Okay. So I'm going to copy and paste this whole thing from my text file into our XAML file. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and paste right here. Uh, something went wrong. Let's see. I'm going to go Control Z to back off. All right. Let's see. I think I uh, Control Z. All right. So we are right here. I should be able to paste this stuff. See, did I miss something maybe from here? Maybe I didn't grab this tag. Let me try again. Control copy and paste. And no, I'm still missing something. So I had a paragraph tag here. Maybe this shouldn't be here. Okay, yeah, that was extra paragraph tag. Okay, so we got our information here. Let's run this. All right. 
so we have this table here that kind of compares the regular text box to a rich text box and some of the features spell checking both have it context menu both have it uh, formatting commands and regular text box doesn't have it but uh, rich text box does and same thing with the flow document um, content like images paragraphs tables so text box doesn't have these elements but flow documents does this comes with the flow document but uh, again rich text box is another wrapper for flow document it gives us the ability to write inside the uh, document okay let's take a look at some of the features here spell checking i think i covered this with regular text box so i'm not sure if you really have to need to cover it all you have to do is turn off the spell checking let's actually go ahead and do that so i'm gonna go inside the rich text box tag and turn on spell checking is enabled to true that will turn on the spell checking and let's run this again you'll see some of the words are underlined with threads, threads so quickly and that's because they are special names okay but if you start typing and uh, somewhere let's go about here let's go actually under not underneath here let's say uh, hello this is a rich text box in this case we don't have any spell checking but if you combine these two words or three words then you'll probably end up with a spell checking error okay or same like here you can if you change the hello to hello we should get the spell checking error okay that, that's spell checking uh, the next one is context menu so the context menu is when you right click in the document a menu pops up gives you the options of cut copy and paste so we can do that easily with one of these so you control copy and then with keyboard shortcut or you can use the context menu like I can do paste with the context menu and that will paste the copied portion of the text and same thing we can do here we can do cut oh here we have uh, the uh, suggestions by the way but uh, if you say ignore all it will ignore the errors but let's use the control cut and cut the text portion all right so that's context menu uh, the next one is formatting commands like this one if we select the text that we want to format with this we can use the keyboard shortcuts such as control B to bold to make it bold okay or control I for underline if you worked with word or text editors you've probably seen that before um, but there are more commands which we'll get get into later on okay um, so those are formatting commands and then we have editing commands as well again we are getting to that later on flow documents the other feature is flow documents again has images paragraphs tables which we have in this document we have images we have tables and we have paragraphs okay so that's briefly what a rich, te a rich text box is um, 
in the next part we will get into more formatting and uh, editing commands and uh, save the document into different format files okay until then take it easy